Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to address a few points to the students who are feeling unhappy with their seat allocation after the JOSA counseling is over. This happiness may be stemming because of the department that they have been allocated or perhaps the institute or perhaps both. Now, before I can address these points, I would like to mention one thing. So it is very natural for us as human beings to feel uh, very lonely when we are unhappy. Uh, perhaps you are feeling uh, that you are the only one going through this grief and distress of not getting your favorite department or institute. But just think about it logically for a minute. When the students of your batch or the general body of students, they start preparing for JE, almost everyone has this dream of going to computer science at IIT Bombay. Maybe you have not been so ambitious, but at least perhaps you wanted to go to some circuital branch in one of the older IITs. Everyone has this dream. But after the JOSA counseling is over, you can imagine that only a few hundred students get to realize this dream. So it means that after the JOSA counseling is over, despite the fact that you all have been successful in J means and J advanced, you all end up being unhappy. So this is the situation with the vast majority of the students. Okay, so you are not alone in your grief, not by any measure. Okay, so with that out of the way, let us get to the point uh, what to do and what not to do if you are unhappy with your department. The first and most important thing to note is that stop trying to escape from your department even before you have joined it. Okay, I have seen this happen in many, many cases. This is an absolutely uh, unwise thing to do. This escapism can be in the form of trying to go for a department change even before you have joined the department or perhaps trying to think of some kind of, an, uh, of a future IT job that you have to take up because somehow you want to escape from your department. Okay, this is absolutely unwise and a uh, strategically bad thing to do for your entire career because even before joining the department, if you start thinking like that, Whatever good, whatever little good that may have happened to you in the department that, you have, that has been allocated to you, that also will not happen. Okay, so stop trying to escape from it. Now, I understand that this kind of an escapism feeling, it appears most of the time because of the students facing some kind of preconceived bias against the department because of uh, whatever they may have heard, heard from this and that place. So, my advice would be that First, try to find out a little bit what is uh, going on in the department that you have been allocated. Meaning that uh, the professional engineers of this department, uh, civil engineering, for example, aerospace engineering, mechanical engineering, what are they doing in their professional career? And I guarantee you that you will be a little bit surprised by the kind of exciting things that they actually do. So instead of getting biased by some kind of preconceived notions, try to form your opinions like a proper adult based on proper information. So try to find out the extremely exciting things, the nice things that professional engineers coming out of your department actually do. Next, even if you are not convinced by that, I would say that try to see and uh, here yeah, the internet is your best friend try to find out the cutting edge things that are going on in your department okay in terms of research uh, many a time students at the beginning of their career they have absolutely no idea about the absolutely fascinating things the awesome things that are going on in the department because uh, they have these kinds of very limited knowledge um, by uh, what they have what they have heard from their parents and uh, relatives and uh, friends and the unfortunate thing is that with all due respect to these people they are also ignorant okay in terms of these high level things so you are not like that okay you are uh, you have to be better than that so try to form an informed opinion okay and i'll come to this a little bit later about this point of, uh, of whom to listen to and whom not to listen to next suppose you are somewhat okay with your allocated department but you are not so happy with your allocated institute so maybe you had this dream institute which you now never got to uh, uh, which you never got allocated so my advice would be at this point uh, please do not 
feel sorry for yourself okay so the best thing at this point would be to actually find out a little bit about the history of the institute that you are going to okay now you are all technically oriented students but still this kind of a little bit of learning the history of the institute can be a source of immense inspiration to you and mind you every institute has some part of a glorious history about it there have been some fabulous alumni that have come out from many of the institutes even if those institutes are not your so called dream institutes some fascinating uh, professionals have come out from there uh, both in the core field as well as in the non core field uh, uh, many bits of fascinating research work is also going on in these various institutes that you have no idea about okay so this is this is an extremely good time to find out the absolutely fabulous things that may be going on in the institute my actual advice here would be that is there is something actionable and concrete that you can do is why don't you just go and set up a google alert for your institute okay suppose you have been uh, suppose you are going to so and so iit okay or so and so nit set up a google alert uh, that it's it takes like just a minute to set it up so from the next day onwards whenever there is uh, some kind of a interesting news associated with that institute maybe it is in terms of some kind of professional achievement of some faculty member or some student uh, or some kind of fascinating research work that may have been done uh, within the institute you will get to know and by taking this very small step very easy step you can actually start gaining a lot of appreciation and actual gratefulness that you have been allocated a seat in so and so institute okay this is my promise to you just find it out you will see the difference in your opinion that will occur finally i would like to say one thing which i have already mentioned a little bit earlier is that please please stop listening to your uh, to to some relatives who may be giving you some kind of unwanted advice or maybe uh, some kind of neighborhood aunties and aunts who may be your well wishers i'm not saying that they are they are not wishing good for you they may be your well wishers but with all due respect to them at the end of the day they are for most parts quite ignorant of what is going on in the different departments and institutes so if they are ignorant okay you think about it just logically when it comes to a mechanics problem okay simple mechanics problem the kind of things that you do in your plus 2 for the simplest of problems you would not trust them to draw even the free body diagram for you these uncles and aunties so why will you let these uncles and aunties with their ignorance dictate your thought processes and your decision making why will you let them comment about it so do not let them disturb your mind be absolutely free be very steadfast in what you have decided what you have been allocated and go forth and try to find out the best about it this will give you a, a, a very positive energy uh, when you are trying to go you know, when you, when you will be going to your actual when you will be actually joining your institute and your department and this positive energy will actually propel you to extract the best possible thing out of uh, your career okay so this is my heartfelt wish and advice to you all the very very best thank you